next big thing. Yeah. Thus concludes predictions from 1988. Yep. Next year when I go to a Comic-Con and see a weird thing, uh, we'll resurrect the segment. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll get another five weeks out of it. Thank you for that. <laughs> now we're going to look ahead from the past that is actually right now, but recorded in the past, because you're probably not joining us live at uh, live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com. And shame on you for that. But uh, Payback is this weekend. Want to get your thoughts on it. First of all, four-way title match. We talked about this a little bit last week. What do you guys expect to go out of this? I think uh, Mr. Rollins just kind of uh, squeaks by once again. This is just noise for him to uh, build his uh, uh, near-miss title win uh, situation. I agree. I think Seth is going to walk out the champion. Although... And uh, uh, much as I hate to admit this, I really kind of hope that uh, Dean Ambrose kind of pulls it off. Just for something different, right? Just for something random and weird. What do you think, Mike? Uh, I, know what I'd, I know what I'd like to see. It's completely unrealistic. It'll never happen. I'd like for Seth Rollins to get overly frustrated with the authority. And for... Rollins, Ambrose, and Reigns to just turn on Randy Orton and reunite the Shield with Rollins as the head, and then you can have Dean and Roman go for the tag team championships. That's me. That's not going to happen. Rollins is going to win. Kane is going to help, and then we're going to get Rollins versus Kane in Elimination Chamber. whoop de doo I swear, if that's what we get. <laughs> that the will sad be- thing is, I agree with Mike. Uh, I think that's exactly what's going to happen. No variation whatsoever? Maybe add those guys into the Elimination Chamber and maybe throw in mm, Triple H. Oh, let's say Mo. <laughs> Wait, like Men on the Mission Mo? No, like The Simpsons. Oh, okay. Oh, what about you, Dan Hooven? What do you think about this main event? I, I, I actually like Fatal 4 Ways because you can accomplish a lot of storytelling. I, I would like to see Ambrose uh, walk out. It's not going to happen. I love Dean Ambrose. I think he's probably – he carried Raw on his back for like two months when Rollins was out and everything. I think Rollins retains. I think actually we see the start of a storyline between Reigns and Ambrose uh, with Ambrose t- maybe you know taking the, the heel turn um, and Randy Orton just kind of waiting around till Elimination Chamber. But – be nice if we see some uh, John Moxley come out at some point during this. So Reigns and Ambrose get in a fight, somehow cost Randy Orton. Rollins walks out with the title. There you go. There you go. Also on this, of course, we got the I Quit match between Rusev and uh, Rusev and uh, John Cena. Do we see? Do we see a lot of this weekend? Because it is opening weekend for Pitch Perfect too. Oh, she's gonna be there. She's gonna be there. You think? Okay. She, she's gonna sing Rusev's theme song. Yeah, she's in it. She's <laughs> <laughs> theme song. She's gonna sing it. Acapella. Do we end this? John Cena rolls. LOL. Of course. Yep. No other Don't way. Don't be ridiculous. Sorry. The only the only way that this that it might not go that way is if like uh, Rusev gets desperate and threatens to beat up Lana, and Cena, being the chivalrous guy he is, quits so it doesn't happen, and then we get CJ Perry coming out in summer. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I actually, I, I think the greatest I quit that match ever was when it was the Rock and Mankind, and they piped in his voice over the PA system. He's like, "I quit." Um, I, I actually can see. I mean, John Cena is going to win. I think we all know that. I can see Lana quitting for Rusev at some point, saying, "I quit," or something with, like you said, something with Lana involved in it. But Cena retains. I actually really like his weekly challenges, so I hope he keeps it going for a while. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Go, go, really good showings for NXT guys between Zayn and Neville. He's given a lot, It's been great. It's been great. Both those guys, point out, both those guys had to take at least one, kicked out of at least one double A. That's that's crazy. crazy. That's crazy. That's what you use to put away the big guys and your up-and-comer is half his size. We're talking about size. Kicked out of the double A. I I was joking on Twitter that um, in NXT, they teach you how to kick out of the first (laughs) double A. (laughs) (laughs) But or then, I, yeah, just flip out of it completely. Yeah, exactly. That and how about Neville hitting the red arrow on scene? That, that ending was great. It protected because pretty much p- fans can walk away saying Neville should have won that match, and that Rusev is afraid of Neville. That's why he interfered because he wanted to fight Cena. That booking on that was great. It, mm-hmm. it, if Cena mm-hmm. keeps the belt, who beats him? 
Who do you see oh. doing it? Because would they do it clean to somebody like a Neville, Zane, uh, you know, maybe Ambrose, I guess, you know, or. Well, I, I don't I, think it would be clean, but it would be, I think it would be nice to see Zane go over. I yeah. He, I yeah. think Zane can use that credibility right off the bat because Zane is a very great wrestler. I think Neville sticks out without a title. I think you, you put the U.S. title on Zane in a very sportsmanlike contest with his handshake at the end. It's big. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think some heels going to call Cena the title. That's just my five cents. Now, Owens just follows him. <laughs> it's just these to continue. No, no, no. no. I think it's just basically like like the whole Owens Zane thing is continued storyline of what ended at Ladder War a couple of years ago. It's <laughs> it's just continuing, and he just follows them. Zane gets up. Zane gets updated to the main roster. Owens follows him and and and, and ruins his day. You know, uh, you know, and it keeps going. It keeps.